Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode we had our character jump and that was great. Now I've made a couple of slight adjustments to this character and I want you to see how they look. So let me just play this really quickly. Um, my character now can run and he can jump and he lands and he has a little bounce and he goes right into his animation. Uh, and that's that's really what I wanted to set up. Uh, and I want to show you how I did that. I told you in the last episode um, that it was going to require a little bit of adjustment in the character itself. And let me show you what I exactly what I adjusted. If I go into my soldier and I take a look at my animator, I made only a couple of small adjustments. The uh, land animation, first of all, I increased the speed of the land animation to 0.5. And all that did is it increases the how fast an animation plays. So I'm actually having it play at it's twice as fast, all right? Uh, it's not half the speed, it is, it is playing at half the time. Um, if I had made that two, then it would be two times longer, all right? So I made it half, half the speed, all right? And I also changed in this transition here, if we take a look, we originally set up our, our transition from the player land to the player idle uh, to have an exit time. And that's still what we want to have. But if you go into the settings, if you open up your settings value, you're going to have a transition duration. And I made mine extremely small. The, dur the transition duration is 0 0.01. And that way it immediately transitions into the, the next uh, animation. All right, so we take a look at it again. Boom, boom, there he goes, boom, boom. Now every once in a while, there's like a, a kind of a weird double hop like that. Uh, it, it's very rare, there it is again. <laughs> Just as I say, it's very rare. Uh, but it's pretty rare, uh, and uh, it'll all depend. Uh, and I do definitely prefer that to having the character slide in an idle animation for a moment or two. Uh, I haven't seen it again, so yeah, I definitely prefer that to having the character slide in an idle uh, for a second or two. So that's good. That's exactly what I want. There he's in his walk, his jump, boom, and everything works fine. Okay, so guys, that's great. So just make those changes, and and if you already haven't, maybe you guys have already gone through and adjusted your stuff the way you like it. Uh, I just did mine after the video, and I want to show you what I had done to make it look the way I like. All right, anyway, in today's episode, now that we have the character running and, and all his movements really there, I'm not adding a double jump or anything like that. I am going to be adding shooting uh, in a later episode, but there's not really any other movements as far as like actual motion, like transitioning from place to place. Like there's no more, I've already got my run, I've already got my walk, and I've already got my jump. So there's no more transitions from location to location. So what I want to add in this episode is a dynamic camera, a camera that's going to follow our character around and, and uh, make for interesting gameplay. All right, so let's get started. So the dynamic camera is actually very, very simple to do. It requires us to write a script. We're going to do that right now. Uh, we're going to write a brand new script and we're going to add it to our main camera. Now the main camera comes with Unity. We already discussed the main camera a little tiny bit. Uh, it, comes with, it comes with every single Unity scene. Um, I've kind of got my main camera where I like it. I actually said I left my main camera, <laughs> I think where it's supposed to be. It might have been at, at Zero, zero. I can't remember now, uh, but I kind of have it where I like it, and this is how I want it to follow my character along. And I can always adjust this later on. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to select my main camera. I'm going to, with, with it selected, I'm going to say Add Component, and I'm going to say Script. And I'm going to add a, well, not Script, I'm going to say New Script. And I'm going to say Brand New Script, and I'm going to call this thing here uh, Camera Follow. All right, and the camera follow is just basically, I'm going to double click it, click it so it opens. The camera follow script is just going to basically allow us, oh, I know it does this. Our camera follow script is just going to allow us to have the camera follow along with our character, or with any target for that matter. You can use this script on any target you want. Now, we're going to have to add a couple of public variables first of all. We're going to add a public transform, and this transform is going to be the target. So. Oops, target. So the target is what the camera is trying to follow along. The next thing we're going to add is a public uh, float uh, variable called smoothing. Smoothing. And let's set this actually equal to a value of 5 for now. Um, I always use 5. Oops, not minus. So let's we'll say equals 5f. I always use 5. <laughs> You guys can play at the smoothing value if you want to afterwards and, and, and kind of see uh, what the difference is. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to have a vector 3. It's going to be a private vector 3. And I'm going to simply call it offset. And the offset is going to be how far the, the, the camera is from the target, how the distance it tries to maintain from the target. Okay, and the way I've got my code set up is I'm going to make sure that, uh, that my camera is set up where I like it in the beginning. Uh, so that's kind of the view I like. And then afterwards, that's going to be the offset. 
So let's take a look right now. In our start, we're going to add one line of code and we're going to add what our offset is equal to. So offset is going to be equal to um, the transform dot position minus, oops, minus the target dot position. All right, so this is basically saying the transform of the camera minus where the target is. And that's going to give me a, an, an offset, a, a vector 3 offset vector, um, telling me how far away I'm trying to stay away from the, the character at all times. All right? After that, we can add either to the update or the fixed update. I'm going to add to the fixed update. Uh, and the reason why I'm choosing fixed update to add it to is because our character's movement is uh, occurring. Well, that's not really true, is it? Um, our input is occurring on the fixed update, but the character itself is moving on uh, on the fixed update as well, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to add in our fix. We're going to add into our fixed update. We're going to add the camera follow itself in there. And there's not a whole lot of code to go in here. Uh, it's going to be a. We're going to start off with a vector three, and uh, we're basically going to try and find out um, where our what our target actually is trying to aim at. So our target, our target, uh, target cam position. So this is the, the position that our, our camera is trying to trying to get to at any any given time. It's going to be equal to our target dot position minus minus oh, sorry excuse me plus the offset. Alright so basically the the camera is always trying to get to the position of the target plus the offset that we created above. Alright that's it. Now last line, the very last line of code required is um, a movement. Now we're going to use something called a lerp. And there's a, a various number of lerps. Lerps will allow you to move from one value to another. And it could be a color lerp, it could be a, a, a vector lerp, it could be all these different things. All right. And, and in this case here we're going to use something called a vector lerp. So what we want to do, this this script is on the is on the camera itself. So obviously when, I, when it says um, transform uh, for example, here it just says transform. It's referring to the transform of the actual game camera. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say transform. Again, it's the position of the game camera. Dot position, uh, and we're going to be moving towards a vector three lerp. All right, and this is basically saying um, change from over time from the position, well, from the transform from the current position, which is transform dot position. This is where we're currently located, uh, and slowly make your way towards our target. Oops, tar, get, cam, pose. So lerp from our current position and try and get to the the target cam position which we set up above, and we're going to do it over a specific amount of time. So we're going to do it over smoothing times time dot delta time. And what this last line does, what this last bit of code does, um, time dot delta time. If if we allowed this thing to just to travel over without this time dot delta time in place, uh, without this uh, this 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 breaking up here, what would happen is every single fixed update, we would move closer and closer to our target cam position. I spelled this wrong. That's why I wasn't fixing it. Target cam position. Um, it would move faster and faster towards its target cam position over every fixed update. And that is many, many times in a second. So the transition of your camera would be extremely fast. And we don't want that. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going we're to move in small, small increments. So we're going to move in an increment of, so whatever increment it should be moving, divided by this time dot delta time. So it'll move at a much, much slower rate. And we're going to multiply by this smoothing value that we've created here. And the smoothing value will allow for a kind of a, a slower transition. So it won't instantly jump to the next location. It's not going to instantly follow the character along. What it's going to do is it's going to, uh, it's going to slowly follow and slowly catch up to the character. So when the character starts moving, the camera will, will have a certain amount of time before it starts moving. And when a character stops moving, the camera will catch up. All right, let's take a look. I'm just going to file save this. File save. Shrink this down. Uh, and now, if I just have to fill that in, first of all. So in with my main camera selected, I'm going to look for this target. And my target is actually my soldier. My soldier. Bam. So I'm just going to put the soldier transform in there. When I hit play now, watch what happens. You saw my camera move up and down. You saw my camera slowly start up and slowly catch up. That's what we want to happen. So now... Right now, our camera is moving along with our soldier. All right, and that is awesome. That gives us a nice dynamic 
a nice dynamic camera uh, and allows it to follow along with the character without being instantaneously along with him. Yes, you could simply have taken the camera itself and put it in the hierarchy of the character and uh, the camera then would move exactly along with the character. We don't really want that. We want to kind of be following along behind, all right? That's, that's what I like anyway. You guys can decide otherwise if you want to. You could have just simply taken your camera and put it within within the hierarchy of your, of your player and it would stay along with them the entire time. Uh, I like this better where there's kind of like this smoothing effect that occurs. The camera slowly catches up to the character and it slowly recenters everything in play. All right, guys, and that's it. That's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you've got yourself an awesome camera in place and your, your game is moving along really, really well. I'm really hoping so. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys produce. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.